How about a trash pie for lunch? Shuggy's Trash Pie in San Francisco uses so-called garbage in their pizza treasures. It is not actually bad. I think so many people think about dumpster diving or um, using rotten ingredients. Don't worry, they're not using actual trash, just not the most desirable looking food. A misshapen mushroom here, a discolored tomato there, an off-brand cut of meat, all in the effort of upcycling food. Some people might not read that it's a beef heart meatball, and they just might see meatball, they order it, and they're like, that was the best meatball I've ever had in my life. And we're like, oh, so you like beef heart? And they're like, what? The global food system actually wastes between 30 to 40 percent of all the food that's produced. And a lot of that is happening before it even reaches your table. The Upcycled Food Association found more than 35 million tons of food are wasted every single year in the U.S., costing the U.S. economy more than $200 billion. It's happening at the farm level because the food might be misshapen and doesn't fit some of our cosmetic standards, but it's also happening in manufacturing. At the Salt and Straw ice cream chain, upcycled ingredients like day-old bread add to the flavor. We're trying to shock people a little bit to start thinking about food in different ways and thinking about, you know, uh, kind of changing the dialogue. Nearly 450 products now carry the Upcycling Certified Seal by the Upcycled Food Association in hopes of raising awareness that old things can be made new. If you'd like to learn more about food upcycling, head over to upcycledfood.org. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.